Hey yo guys, what's going on? It's Sherrick here, and we are back with another episode of Law and Order Legacies. In the last one, we finished up Nobody's Child, and so now we're going to move on to Ear Witness. Let's look into this one. Um, let's see. It's a, a young blind boy and his mother are walking to the market when she is gunned down. The boy must identify her attacker by voice alone, but will it stand up in court? This is going to be interesting. I'm already intrigued uh, by the prospect of what this is going to be. If you guys are intrigued like this, like I am, and want to see more of this quicker, please give it a big old stamp of approval. It lets me know that you guys are really enjoying what you're seeing here. And as always, I will do my best to bring you delicious, nutritious content right here on this channel. Without further ado, let's get into Ear Witness. In the criminal justice system, That's the right. people are represented by two separate yet equally important groups. Equally The police important who investigate groups. crime and the district attorneys who prosecute the offenders. These, These are, are their, their stories. stories. <laughs> Love it so much. At the Biz E Mart. Not like Biz Marquee. Come Whoa. on, Henry. The store's across the street. No holding hands now. Just follow my voice. One day you're going to have to do all this on your own. Whoa, is that like... Mm, I don't like Look at this. Hey, y'all the ones who shot PK. Yeah, whatever. Who gang banging ain't for you, son. Stay in school. Oh, okay. Yo, say that to get in my face, son. Take my hand now, Henry. Let's get inside. No, 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 no. There's no call for that. Oh. Mama? Nina. That was even sadder than watch it than that other kid. Oh man, I was like, oh, this will be great. This is gonna be a really awesome case, and then now I'm firmly caught in the feels. Oh man, it's bad enough to be an orphan, but to be a blind orphan on top of that, man, that's really. Oh. I'm hurting. Detective? Like I'm glad I didn't do face cam for this one. What do we got? Uh, the victim is one Shar Jackson, age 26. She's like lived 26. in the neighborhood. She was walking with her son, Henry, when she apparently got caught in the crossfire during a gang dispute. The crack security guard they got here claims he saw most of it. What about the kid? He see the shooter? No. Kid's blind. Oh. Well, anything else? Yikes. The guard claims he saw two cars leave the scene, but didn't get makes or models. Oh, awesome. Great guard. He's a car guy. Says the engine on one was really, really loud. Let me walk you through what CSU picked up. Got a receipt dated today. Four bottles of Mad Scott. Someone was getting the drink on. Three mm. shell casings. Maybe from the 9 okay. mil we I think found. I heard three shots from earlier. We found this baby. I thought we had our murder weapon, but now I'm not so sure. That's a tiny gun. Saturday night special. Fake wooden handle. Man, this thing is a piece of uh, work. Over there, we got some gang graffiti. PK, it says. PK? Probably a tag. One of the locals. We're asking around. It says a I bunch of beer of bottles. Jeez. Hoping to get some DNA, maybe. Somebody we got a drunk. can of spray paint, freshly used. Maybe okay, get some so prints off that. recently made the tag. And that's about the size of it. Find any cigarette butts or anything? I'm hoping to get lucky with another DNA hit. Nah, nothing like that, unfortunately. Awesome. Yeah, the place was pretty clean for this part of town. Maybe someone swept up last night. Hard to say. Oh, and one more thing. What's that? The kid doesn't know his mom's dead yet. Oh, Guess we're awesome. clear. Let's talk to our witnesses. We should start with the boys so CPS can get him out of here. Man, that sucks. Hi there. It's Henry, right? I'm Olivia. And this, um, with me is my partner, Ray. Henry, I know this is really hard, but we need to ask you some questions so we can help your mom, okay? Is she dead? Do you have any family we can call for you, Henry? We don't have anybody, my mama and me. Henry, oh, man. did your mom believe in heaven? <laughs> we go to church every Sunday. <sighs> she sings in the choir. Well, your mom is in heaven now. That's where she'll be when you see her again. A long time from now. Henry, we can do this another time. Are man, you sure I'm, oh, this sucks. Can call? I can tell you what happened. I heard everything. Okay, we'll talk about the gunshots. Did you hear the gunshots, Henry? I heard three. One after the other. 
My ears still hurt. Can you point to where you heard them from? Over there. Is Henry right? I believe I heard uh, three, so yeah. And we found three shell casings, so yeah. Um, how do we know we found three shell casings? Man, I'm I'm firmly caught in the fields already. This just this is wow. Man, gang fight. Did you hear anything unusual before your mother was shot, Henry? There was a fight. Was your mother involved? Uh uh. They were gang bangers. My mama called them one time. They started shouting, cussing each other. Then I heard them fighting. Could you tell if they were close or far away? There. They were over there. One of them said, y'all the one who shot PK. And then the others, they just laughed. And then that's when they started to fight. Yeah. Um. Yeah, some gang graffiti on the store. Good, good. Let's keep moving. Uh, let's talk about other sounds. I'm not going to try to check sure the ice cream. Understand, Henry. You pointed one way when we asked you where the fight happened, but you pointed the other way when we asked you where the shots came from. Uh-huh. What else did you hear besides the shots? Would one of the men who were fighting yell, say that to my face right before the shots? Afterward, I heard another man cry out the name Nina. Nina? You're sure? Yes, ma'am. First the gunshots, then he said Nina, then everybody ran. Um, that's not the name of the victim, though, because uh, her name is Shar. No, I'm thinking of Shar Jackson. Oh, man, that really cute. That really brought me down, man. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm not talking a whole bunch. But just... You said everyone ran after the shot. I mean, I was pretty... I was kind of hurt know, when uh, I heard the kid in the, the previous one... A couple of people ran getting, that way. Uh, killed, then I heard but... some other people get inside a car behind me, out on the street. They screeched their tires when they drove off. Probably our gangbangers leaving the scene. Anything else? Yeah, I heard another car over there. Someone got in and drove away real fast. Yep, two. Two cars. <laughs> uh, fresh skid marks. Officer Fanta Fontana re related to the security guard saw two cars. Let's talk about the cars. Henry, did you hear anything when the cars drove away? Maybe a funny noise, like a rattle or a squeak. I heard a Dodge Charger with a 5.7 liter Hemi V8. Whoa, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> he busted out everything on that car. Oh, wow, 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 yes. The security guard mentioned a very loud car. He knew everything about that car. <laughs> he was like, it was a Dodge Charger, the Hemi V8. Wow, how could you tell, Henry? I heard the door ringing when they opened it. Dodge Charger's the only car makes that noise when you open the door with the key still inside. We believe you, Henry. But how do you know that? My pastor's son used to have the same car before he left for college. I know everything oh, about that car. I even helped him fix it. We'll check it out. Thanks, Henry. Go see Officer Fontana for a second, okay? He know He's where to go. a smart kid. Brave, too. He believes what he heard, but will any of this hold up in court? Well, I believe it, too. You trust my instincts? So far, but I gotta be honest. I'm worried you might be a little compromised here. Compassion mm -hmm. for an 11-year-old who just lost his mother doesn't compromise me, Curtis. Hey, yeah, I'm gonna nail the scumbag who did this just as much as you. Let's talk to our other witness. Okay. Let's keep moving, man. Oh, yeah, my cursor disappeared for a Jesus, moment there. Jesus, it's about time. You know it took 20 minutes for the squad cars to get here? Not that I blame them. How's that? Look around you, detective. They shoot each other every day out here. They even shoot at the paramedics who come to help them. They're animals. Who? All this gangbanger scum. This neighborhood used to be great. Never mm. worried about anything. Paradise, huh? Anyway, I saw the whole thing. Go ahead. Ask me anything. Shaded, bro. Shaded, bro. You see who took the shots? 
Not exactly. Not exactly. You saw standing. everything, though. But I know they came from the gangbangers that were tearing up the asphalt in the parking lot. How can you be sure? I saw the whole thing. First they were fighting, the next minute, bam, bam. Just two shots. That's all it took. And they scatter like rats. You were... No. Get out of here. There are three shots, fool. We already know. We already know what was happening in, 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 up in there. Actually, we found three shell casings. You did? Weird. What did you see? Where were you when all this was happening? In the store. I came out not long after the fight started. Did you see anyone else in the parking right lot here, besides man. the gangbangers? Nah, honestly, I love it when gangbangers kill each other. Whoa! If I'd have seen that lady and her kid, I would have called the police sooner, you know? So, no one else besides the bangers, the kid, and his mom? No. Um, yeah, I... I yeah. Because he didn't mention anything about Nina. Yeah, this one. This dude, for quote unquote seeing everything, didn't see anything. Um, let's talk about the Mad Scott. You get a look at whoever bought the bottle of Mad Scott earlier? Hell no. I'm not a damn cashier. To tell you what, shouldn't be hard to figure it out. We're the only store that sells that garbage in like 100 miles. No one else will touch it, but the uh, good citizens around here seem to like it. Jeez, oh, I don't like this guy at all. He's a goon. He's an absolute goon. Let's talk about it. You know what, testimony. David? Your story doesn't jibe real well with the other witness testimony. Who? Some blind kid? Maybe we should take this conversation downtown. Let you sit in the tank for a while. Wait, wait. I remember. I went to the alley for a smoke break. When I finished, I started walking back towards the store, and that's when the fight broke out. Okay? Uh, do I have any reason to doubt this story? Um, yep. We didn't find any cigarette butts out there. No. No. No, we didn't find any cigarette butts. Somebody is lying. Why are you always Smoker? lying? That's what you're going with. Oh my god. We didn't Stop find any evidence of smoking lying. in the alley, David. Though we did find an empty six pack of beer. You mind giving us a swab of your DNA for comparison? What? You do that for us, right? Do your part to clean up the neighborhood? All right, fine. I was back there drinking. So let's try this again. What did you drinking see? Drinking on the job. I was just Great inside the guy. alley. I was having a beer. I saw the gangbangers getting into it. Okay. Talk about the gang bangers. Do you recognize any of these guys? One of them is called Lil Doc. He's been looking to cap someone. Not Char Jackson. No. Some other banger killed his homie PK. Like the tag in the alley. Yeah. And he'll do it too. He's got a gun. How do you know? Because he shoved it right in my face once when I told him to leave the store. Oh, snap. So you got a good look? Yeah. Cheap little Saturday night special. Silver, fake wooden handle. Oh. Looked like a Glock, but it was obviously a knockoff. <laughs> what a joke. That was in the that was in the uh the alleyway. He is actually telling the truth for once. We found it. Although I do believe that he lacks up the intelligence to make something up. Uh let's talk about the cars. You said you saw two cars leaving the scene. You remember makes and models? Plates? One of them was really loud, like oh, a V8. Cool. Something big. Turned to look when the driver gunned it. Well, I caught some of the plate. Mm, yep. Because he said it was a V8. Uh, Henry said it was a V8. No. No, he did not say a Ford Mustang. Hmm? He said it was a Dodge Charger. Okay, David, sit tight. We may be back later. So what do we got? The testimony of an 11-year-old who can't see and a security guard hiding in the alley. We got a partial license plate and a name. I'll call the gang unit, see if they can put a name to Little Doc before someone else gets hurt during his little turf war. Great. Let's keep moving. As soon as they get me back my cursor. There we Henry, go. it's Olivia again. Officer Fontana is going to take you to child services, where you'll be safe. 
Can I come home with you? I'm sorry, Henry, but I'll come see you tonight. I promise. I don't want to leave my mama. I'll go with her. I promise. Hey, Curtis, listen, uh, can you handle the vehicle search? Don't give it a second thought. Go. Okay, good. Got a, got a little Olivia be Mama Olivia. Thanks for covering. Any hits on Lil Doc? Not yet. Gang unit hasn't got back to me, and CSU is still looking at the weapon we recovered. Okay. The license plate? Dodge Charger. Registered to a Mr. Scott Leonard. Lives half a mile from the Busy Mart. Ooh. Well, well, well. Detective Curtis, you have a guest. I put him in room two. Oh, who is this? Do we know each other? Oh, I know you. Been making noise. Spreading my name around. Oh, this Lil, Lil Doc? Doc? You're Tarveria Sims. I've read your rap sheet. One and the same. Nice to meet you, Sims. Now, if you pardon the question, why the hell are you here? It's hard to believe you're just doing your civic duty. Maybe I want to clear the air. Maybe your idea of who I am and how I operate ain't all that accurate, detective. Oh, let's see then. Let's talk about it then, right. little doc. So where were you Tuesday, Sims? A little get into it. Boy Scouts. Evening prayers. You know how we do. Does your Boy Scout troop give you badges for shooting innocent women? Ooh. Man, I wasn't nowhere near that place. Uh, new. No. I don't know if we can prove it, but uh, witness saw Sims fighting in the parking lot. Yeah, nice. We have an eyewitness who saw you in the parking lot, Sims. Your little turf war. Yeah, mm -hmm. you catch the guy who started shooting? Maybe, I'm looking at him. Some people said it was you. Man, I don't even own a gun. That's a lie, too. Nice try, though. So what was it? Revenge for your homie, PK? It ain't, it ain't nothing like that. Mm -hmm. Did you ever own a gun, Tarvarius? Hell no, I don't have a gun. Liar. No, he's not being truthful. The security guard said he saw Tim's pull a gun on him in the store. Hey, yay. Our friend David Zemsta says otherwise. Mm -hmm. He even identified your little Saturday night special. David who? The security guard. Oh, him? <sighs> Couldn't even open his lips for the... Uh, let's talk about shots, shots, If it wasn't shots, you shots, that shot Char shot, Jackson, shots, then who shot, was it? Shot, 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 Lady, I don't know. We was fighting, okay? Yeah, I pulled my nine, and I told him to back off. That's when we heard the shots. Yeah, okay. From where? Who? Hell, hmm. if I know, you hear shots in my neighborhood, you run. For a minute, I thought it was them. They probably thought it was us. You sure it wasn't? Nah, my homies wasn't strapped, and I found out later neither were the other ones. I'm telling you this. The shots came from somewhere else, yo. Mm. Um, yeah, I guess we can. I think uh, Henry said something about the shots being away from him. Okay, good. I was like, he's got to be telling the truth on one. Okay. I think I meant All to right, click the so other one, but good thing I clicked that one. A little better. Okay, let's talk about the security guards. Is that the only we option? have a witness telling us the 9mm we found at the crime scene belonged to you. <laughs> Who you got as a witness, man? The KKK or the Super K? Ooh. Maybe he just got his wish. What's that supposed to mean? He's a racist. Hangs out with them other bald-headed hoodbillies. Hoodbillies? <laughs> black folk around the store kicking us out. Huh. What? You didn't fill out a complaint for him? Whatever, man. Last time I was in there, he starts up with me, so I pulled my nine. Put it in his face. Crazy-ass white boy didn't even flinch. Yeah, that sounds about right, because he was talking about... He kept saying gangbangers in that weird way he said it, and he kept... Um, he called them animals. Ooh, getting a little racy up in here. And not that kind of racy, the other kind of racy. Sorry, y'all. Um, is it credible? Yeah, the security guard did tell the same story. Nice. Yeah, we heard the story. Oh, yeah? Well, did he tell you how he's going to shoot me like a dog and how a race war is coming? Oh, nope. whoa. That's interesting. All right, Sims. Assuming the ballistics comes back negative on your gun. Which it will. Who do you figure for the shooter? Let's see. Black kids on the street getting shot at. Black lady dead. And a racist white security guard. <laughs> Gee, I really have no idea. Which <laughs> He said it. Wait, he said um, that. that. That lady, she's the mother of that blind kid, right? That's right. Yeah, I've seen him around. He okay? 
No, Sims. Not really. Sorry to hear that. It ain't right. Don't leave town. We may need to talk to you again. There goes my trip to the French Riviera. Ha <laughs> ha! Got jokes. I like it. All right, cool. I like that character. You know you kind of How'd it go with Sims? He admits to being there and to owning the gun, but claims he's not the shooter. We're waiting on CSU. I had them move it to the top of the pile. The 9mm slugs that killed Char Jackson were a match for the shell casings found at the scene, which are not a match for the gun you found. <laughs> they had to fix it just to test fire it. <laughs> so where does that leave us? With this, check out what I just found. What did David you just find? Zemsta, our security guard. Turns out he belongs to an organization he oh, didn't mention no. to us. Here's a little video he posted to his blog. Oh, no. White Power. Hey, everyone. It's me, David Z. Big say Kyle to all you freedom fighters out there. Mm. Today's video is going to be about how to foster black on black violence with just a simple can of spray paint. Simply tag a wall or building in a rival gang's alley. Even better if you can slur one of their dead. They hate that. Remember, resistance by any means necessary. Um, I'm really glad I put that uh, mature best. tag on here. I knew there was something I didn't like about you the first second I saw Same. you. Same. Because my skin is white. Uh, what? Mm. We found some graffiti in the alley behind your store. Pretty nasty stuff. The kind of thing might start a local gang war. The wind blows and it starts a gang war. So what? What do you think would happen if somebody tagged over PK's name? How the hell would I know? But, I got no idea. Uh, you a lie. Why are you always lying? <laughs> he carries a... Get out of here. Uh, the video... Tells the story, bro. You spelled it out for us on the White Nation Socialist website. Find a tag, cross it out, add a rival's tag. We found a can of black spray paint in the alley. I'm betting your prints are all over it. It was just an idea, protected by the First Amendment. Uh, it doesn't prove that I actually shot anyone. Uh, I don't like this guy at all. <laughs> all right, shooter. One Let's more chance. Shooter. Who was the shooter? I told you already. Little Doc, Tarveria Sims. I saw him shoot that woman. You a lie. No, get out of here. You ain't see him fire his gun. Uh, let's see. It was not a ballistics match. Nice try, though. Wrong again, amigo. So much for the superiority of the Aryan race. Sims's gun was not a match. Let's talk about another shooter. Uh, you know, I just remembered. It wasn't Tarverius who took those shots. Mm -hmm. It was someone from the other gang. The guys from Houston Street. Yeah. Is that, sure. Is that how it yeah. said, really? Saw the whole thing, remember? Houston. Is this consistent? No. Because Sims just said the other gang was unarmed. I mean, this is he said, she said, totally, but still. Yeah, I remember. I remember you told us you didn't see the shooting. This dude is a goon. I do not like him. Do not like him, Sam. I am. Let's book him. Benson, let's book this punk. Send him to Rikers and let the brothers there teach him about peace, love, and racial harmony. You look good for this, Zemsta. You got a history of hate speech against blacks. You have access to a weapon. You know the gang's involved. All I need now is a pretty little bow. Damn it. No. No? No what? He was... He was white. The shooter. Guy in the charger. White guy. Damn idiot. You're saying Scott Leonard was the shooter? Yeah. I saw him there about an hour before. Nice what? car. He was in her lot like four times this week. He'd just drink in the parking lot and sit there for was hours. He scouting it out? I told him to leave once. He flashed a gun at me. Thought he was there to buy drugs or something. Oh, yeah? What was he drinking? What did the car look like? Uh, uh, the real cheap stuff. Mad Scotsman. The car was black with a big blue stripe. Charger, I think. Yeah, I think he's finally telling us the truth, man. Because um, the, the name Scott Leonard sounds white. <laughs> Yikes. Um, yeah, I think it's this one. The shooter can't be Sims. There was a receipt for the Mad Scotsman. In the parking lot, and the Chargers, we already know, is registered to Leonard, so. Cheap Sherry is irresistible to guys who drive muscle cars. Also I hate to dope. say it, but he's making a positive ID here. 
and would finally prove what Henry's been telling us about where he heard the shots. Oh, why did he have to be white? You were supposed to protect people, you sad, sick piece of trash. Now a mother is dead and her kid is an orphan because you were too busy trying to start your race war. It's coming whether you want it or not. Go to hell. Everything's starting to make sense. <laughs> really? I was thinking just the opposite. Either way, we gotta check out Scott Leonard. Yep, we sure do. And we will do that in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it and you want more of this quicker, please give it a big fat stamp of approval. Subscribe and share if you feel so inclined. And as always, I will see you guys right here on this channel for the next one. Peace!